so last class already we seen right uh, so how to create uh, how to set up uh, jenkins uh, and uh, how to create uh, jenkins jobs and all <coughs> and also you know right uh, how to create a uh, sample jobs and all and uh, how to build it uh, and uh, how to test the results uh, how to configure and all so first let me check uh, whether my jenkins server is running or not so if you want to check so windows what is the command uh, so services dot msc so this is the default command if you want to check what are the services what are the services running our mission just uh, mm -hmm. even uh, tomcat server or jenkins and all uh, just uh, search the j j means jenkins so now here we can check it uh, whether your jenkins server is running or not now see here if you see here uh, my jenkins server is running screen. so by default uh, by default oh yes uh, let me share my screen so by default uh, in you know right uh, in real time always uh, our jenkins server is running we are not going to stop we are not going to stop so but uh, don't stop in real time if you want to stop or restart so we need to check we need to get permission from manager and all so we have to restart but uh, this is our local right so whenever if you need we can start jenkins server or we can stop start restart and also so no problem okay so anyway here my jenkins server is running now so how to access uh, so with the help of ip or we can directly use a uh, local host but here we can use local host but if you come to real time mostly we are using uh, so domain name or ip address they are giving uh, so domain name so mostly they configure domain name and with the help of they can access or here we can use ip address also but this is a local right i can use a local host 8080 that's it so if you use uh, so local 8080 it is asking a username and it is asking password so every user have one username password so in real time with the help of that credential we can log into your jenkins server <coughs> now you and all they changed so earlier this image in top next in the bottom we can see la, uh, username password and all now they changed this front phrase see left side they may they move to image and right side uh, credentials now once you log into your jenkins server once you log into jenkins server once you log into jenkins server so this is the home page so this all are the already you know right <laughs> this all are the so already created jobs so these all are the already created job so right now i have three jobs and uh, if you want to create any new job click on the new item and if you how many users and all we can see here this is the build history and manage jenkins we will see one by one later okay so how to create job how to create job and all so how to create job and all if you want to create any job click on the new item give the so give the any name this is generally we are following a project name and that is job name project name and job name we are following so project name so this is the just assume uh, devops my project name and the job is uh, for example feature brand job okay so like this we are giving like this we are giving now see here <coughs> if you don't know anything uh, just select the freestyle job freestyle job select freestyle job click on the ok button so now job was created and uh, so if you, this is the configuration job related configuration options so this is my job name devops siphon feature is my job name and this is the configuration option if you want to we can create uh, whatever you want so there is many options available right so we can configure now if you see here if you see here we will see some basic uh, options mostly user and all so there is many options general uh, and source code management build trigger build environments build steps host build actions now if you see general this is the we can general option under here we can uh, see here if you want to we can update description whatever you want so and uh, so this is the see here discard old builds github project this project is parameterized next 
three here total bills uh, execute current bills if necessary there is some basic uh, these are the common options so every time we are not going to use all these options based on our requirement so if anyone is suitable for our requirement so we can select uh, so that particular option so already you know just i updated apply save how to trigger how to build the project guys so if you see here left side click on build now if you click on build now now see here this is the bill number one this is the bill number one so suppose see i clicked many times now it will trigger many number of bills uh, total so see total six bills and uh, so if you want to see if you want to see that logs and all click on the bill number and go to console output and now we this is your uh, so can't this is your entire uh, so build who started your build who started your job and uh, where is your workspace this is the default workspace and whether build is success or fail and if we have any errors and all if we have any errors and all we can see it also if we have any errors and all uh, we can see it also so these are the some basic options okay now go to here now see here i have six bills right so if you want to modify anything so if you want to modify anything if you want to modify if you want to update my project configurations and all this is a job right the web siphon feature so there is amna this is the dashboard home page select the job name and click on the configuration if you click on configuration whatever configuration already we configure so if you want to update we can update you can update so there is some basic options so these are the general so there is see here discard old bills these are very simple only if you want to we can understand this determine when if even bills record this project should be discarded suppose you have multiple bills you don't want to display all bills yeah uh, this uh, you know right uh, so if you go here now see we can see up to six bills if you click on help bill now bill now bill now now see here i have total this is q also see it is running it is also pending now see here how many bills we can see total bills we can see <laughs> these are the old bills right you don't want display this and all i want to discard so that case see here select job name go to configuration section there is a discard old bills if you select if you select this discard old bills now it is asking see uh, log rotation see here log rotation and days to keep bills so right now i have total total bills if not if not empty build, uh, build records only kept up to this number of days i want to display how many days for example i want to display only one day and the maximum number of bills to keep maximum number of bills to keep if it is if not empty only up to number the bills are kept so i don't want i want to keep only five bills i want to keep only five bills right now i have total bills right so this is based on your requirement this is not mandatory every project configure so now see here apply save now if you go here this is a job right now total total just a bill now one more build now this is a 13 build now if you see just refresh it if you refresh it now you can see so last five bills only it will display last five bills only it will display so remaining old bills and all uh, discard discard means i don't want to see this is a uh, very large right build history is very large so in that case uh, uh, we can uh, maintain so my project also we are using only only 10 uh, build history so remaining all are it automatically it will discard go to configuration section job configuration so whatever you want uh, i don't want five uh, so i want to display only four bills apply save now go to job and see right now we can see five right trigger one more build so now we can see last four only we can see just refresh it now see here we can see only four these are uh, based on your requirement we can configure whatever you want we can configure now let's move on to here now here mostly we are using there is one more option is there click on the configuration job name configure whatever you want update now so remaining github options anyway we will explain after parameter we'll see later 
so based on situation i will explain execute current bills if necessary mostly we are using uh, so you know right uh, this one and also this one i will explain later so right now we need some uh, other jobs and all so that case i will explain now very very important uh, interval also there are many people they are asking so how to integrate uh, so how to configure repository in jenkins server this is very very important now see here i hope everyone know this is our repository just assume bit, bit by github or bit bucket any repository okay this is the github this is the github repository so i have source code here right i have source code here this is my source code and uh, so this is we are working local this is our local this same story okay so this is a local this is a central this is a local uh, so repo this is a local repo and uh, so this is a central repo repository right this is the central repository this is the central repository central uh, so repo this is the central repo now now code is available here we are working locally if any changes modify we are pushing to here this is a common so common steps and all now here we configure jenkins right here i set up jenkins server this is my jenkins server so this is my jenkins server this is my jenkins server now i install i set up jenkins server this is my repository this is my repository now how to configure repository in our jenkins server this is the mostly they are asking how to integrate this is your cicd tool continuous integration slash continuous deployment tool so here we are using which tool jenkins now interval also most of the people they are asking uh, this one now so this is the jenkins server jenkins is nothing but this is just one tool it won't to do itself it won't do anything itself this is only just one tool guys this is just one tool it won't do anything itself directly it ain't change so we have to configure so there is one right jenkins provide lot of plugins already you know right so plugins jenkins provide lot of plugins lot of plugin with the help of this plugin with the help of this plugin we are going to configure any tool whatever you want we can configure whatever you want we can configure okay so jenkins is a just a open source automation ci cd tool this is like one tool only so right now already i have repository and just now i configure jenkins server last class we configure jenkins server this is your jenkins server and i have repository right github dot okay. so most of the people enter also they are asking just assume so just assume so now i want to configure uh, something this one maven web application this is my java related project so this is my java related project so this is my jenkins server so this is my jenkins server how to integrate how to integrate repository in our jenkins server i hope clear anyone any doubt here clear sujit yes sir so this is our repository in real time yes. also we are maintaining source code and all separate repository this is our repository now this is my jenkins server already my jenkins server is running already i created one job also and uh, so i want to configure this repository in my jenkins server so first let me create one job if you have confusion see here i am going to create okay so uh, for example here uh, devops hyphen uh, so for example here i given ma uh, java project okay just i given for your understanding java now so right now i am selecting only freestyle job i am not going to select anything see select this one and click on okay 
now if you go here say automatically it will this is a configuration page right so if you go here there is a source code management there is one option is there there is a one option is there so today how to install plugins and all so how to install enter also most of the people they asked so how to install plugins in jenkins server how to install plugins in jenkins server and how to configure repository in jenkins server this is very very important in real time also mostly we are using now this is my github right this is my github so if you see here if you see here this is our repository so for this repository we need some if you want to connect this repository we need username we need repository url repository url and also branch name we need branch name and we need credential also in real time credential okay these are the mandatory so without this information we cannot configure right we cannot connect but this is my public repository everyone can access it but if we come to real time so almost 100 percent all repositories are private only got it all are private so private means uh, directly we cannot access uh, without this information username password which branch which repository so this all are the so this all are the so this all are the same right this all are the same so without this information we cannot connect now so if you come to here this is just i want to configure development branch and this is my repository this is my repository just try to understand so this is my project just now i created one project now already git plugin is installed okay now first i will configure later i will show you how to install plugin and all now see here if this is not available how to install plugin we'll see later okay first anyway this plugin already installed just select this plug git now see here it is asking some basic uh, options sir. see what is the repository url so which repository you want to connect so this is my project this is my repository right so copy code click on the copy button click on the copy now go to here just paste it just paste it so this is the first part and the second part credentials also mandatory in real time but in this case even if i am not adding credential my repository is working this is a public okay but if you come to real time this is also mandatory now how to add credential for this repository if you want to connect this repository so we have username password right so how to add it so see here there is one add button is there if you click on jenkins now it is asking uh, so username so my repository already i have my username just i am adding that username that's it same way add your repository uh why yahoo.com and also password password so i have password right for my repository so just uh, i am giving that one also now see here and uh, id if you are not giving any id by default jenkins server it says it is generating one id so anyway i am using also okay now this is the description also i am giving same so like this we are first we are adding credentials now see here so this is the this is the select i select a kind equal to jenkins credential providers there is many kinds available guys so i will explain later and so kind equal to username with password right now i have username for this repository i have password for this repository just i am adding that credential username with password and uh, this is my username and this is my password and uh, we can pass anything id this is optional if you want to we can pass anything description also we can pass that's it so anyone any doubt here clear no sir yes please okay. just add it so this is mandatory once you added uh, if you click on drop down automatically you can see that credentials whichever credential you added so whichever credentials you added we can see that credential in drop down see here select this one first part is done 
now if you go down branch to branches to build so if you see here i have many branches sir. repository means we can see many branches right in real time also which branch you want to connect so whether you want to master branch development branch feature branch first branch now i am going to work with which branch development branch now got it so we need to give that branch name by default master available i am not work with master i am work with dev only that's it guys see here very simple so that's it remaining and all no need to change anything so now this is a part so how to configure how to configure repository how to configure source code management in uh, jenkins server so go to create one job go to configuration section go to source code management section and select our source code enter your url and credentials and which is a branch name that's it apply save now this is our job right now see here this is our project now java dev devops hyphen java so right now build is not as started click on the job name and now click on the build now now see here so now you can see see it is build is started and it will take time it is connected to my repository it is getting my source code and all click on the build number and uh, go to console output now see here so now see there is some information we can see here what this information it is uh, see this is your workspace and uh, so repository cloning the remote gate repository if you go previous job so if you go previous job so this and all uh, i didn't configure anything now see here click on the build history click on the build number go to console output so can you see anything here no right so in this job this is my job name dev crm hyphen dev so here i didn't configure any repository so it is not connected to my repository my if you see here this is a job name under this job i configure source code also now see here it is connected to repository it is cloning the source code from repository clear now see here what is your repository this is your repository and this is a version 2.38 which version I already installed in my mission and uh, so everything what is the branch name also we can see search it here development branch right so now see here this is the development branch see here this is the development branch and this is the commit id also latest commit id so now entire available in my source code in my local anyone any doubt guys here this is it is connected to my repository and clone the project from your local this is your workspace jenkins workspace if you want to see copy this one and uh, so in row v and just paste it we can see this path also now see here entire source code available here the workspace go to workspace devops hyphen java and this is your this is your entire source code now if you go here what our code available here in our central repository same thing it is coming to my local also clear anyone any doubt here now entire source code available my local mission that is our jenkins our space path clear sudhir yes sir now one part is done now try to build it okay so i configure repository and everything done i trigger build also if you click on build now now every time what jenkins server will do so jenkins server always connect to repository and it is cloning source code into your jenkins this is the jenkins server running one mission right so here work workspace also is there so here it is cloned it is cloned my source code available in the mission okay this is one part is done now i want to what i need to do we need to we need to call maven i want to generate artifact file how to generate artifact file you know right uh, which tool we are used 
I want to generate now, now. now your second step uh, so how to integrate uh, so how to integrate maven in Jenkins server second step uh. now already just I configure a Jenkins server I configure repository code and all here that's it one part is done now if I trigger build every time it is clone the source code into local only but it is not generating any see here if you go here if you go here go to console so is there any artifact file generated is there any maven is called no right no now if you go here directly i will show here later i will configure go to job and go to configuration and if you go here there is one option is there uh, build steps build steps if you click on build steps here there is one option is there we can call this one also see here invoke top level maven projects now got it so where is this if you go to build steps there is one option available what is the option invoke top level maven project anyway i am going to configure maven also right now i am selecting this option if you select this option now it is asking so goals now tell me guys what is the maven goals mvn hmm? compile life cycle uh, mvn test validate compile you know right package MVN install, you know, right? Maven life cycle. Correct. Okay. So now you want to generate artifact file. So if you want to generate artifact file, so these are the Maven life cycle. Now it is asking Maven goals. Now see here, if you click on here, if you don't have, if you don't have any idea for this project, it use Maven as build system. This causes Jenkins to invoke Maven with the given goals. So what is the Maven goal? For example, I want to compile the source code. Now I'm giving a so MVN compile. MVN compile. Now apply. Now save it. Now build now. Now see here. I want to compile whether it is pass or fail. See here it is failed. Why it is failed? Click on this go to console output now if you see here if you see here you need to give only compile don't already do see here again. command already i mean by default it is available again i passed it mean double right double time now got it here command two times sir so now i uh, no need to give mn already mn by default available so just we go to only compile or whatever you want so here again no need to give it so in console also we can check it what is the error and all if we read the console message now we can check it now here also again fail now why it is failing now see here mn is not internal recognized internal or external command anyone what is the problem anyone guess it now it is saying like earlier it is saying different message right now it is saying different message if you see previous build that command problem that is it is calling two times so mn mn compile this is a wrong right so generally we are calling mn space compile validate test package install deploy so now anyway this is a i corrected i updated so already mn is available just we are passing life cycle only i passed second time so again it is failed uh, now read anyone what's the problem see here in real time also same same command same error same you can see same console also mn is not recognized as an internal or external command so opera uh, operable program not batch what's the problem mvn not configured hmm. so now if you see this message so mn is not installed or not configured in jenkins server so windows mission how we are configuring guys 
once maven is downloaded go to that path and go to environment variables if you go here go to environment variables we are set the path right yes sir same way so how we are setting here this is the environment variable in our mission we added this path and all if you go here so here already set mn underscore here added where is your software and all so same way we need to update in jenkins server also so how to update this is a problem now same if we read error we can easily understand so what's the problem now already so that command is executing but mn package is not available mn install is not available now how to configure go to here now go to dashboard if you want to configure any software sir, if you want to integrate any tools sir. so go to dashboard and there is one option is that manage jenkins see here this is a already i told right heart of the jenkins almost 99 percent all options we are updating here only go to manage jenkins if you click on the first option uh, if you click on the here there is a second option tools see here tools option right configure tools their locations and automatic installer suppose if you want to install any tool okay so that and all we have to configure here now see here heading also tools configure tools their locations whatever you want click on the tools click on the tools now if you see here already here see here these are the tools section maven also is there and jdk also is there git already installation path is also there gradle installation path and hint and maven installations there is many already by default these options available now i want to integrate maven right you want to integrate so now see here so this is a maven i am going to integrate maven in jenkins server this is the build tool right this is the build tool so this is a build tool this is a build tool now i want to integrate also maven in jenkins server this is a maven so which version you want we are going to install configure in jenkins server now see here so click on the add maven now so there is two options available install automatically if you select install automatically so no need to give that path and all i don't want this version sir i want to give manual path so that case and select and it is asking a uh, man space home where is your maven software available in my local mission so anyway first it is asking name right we can give any name for example men i am i am going to work with 3.8 version number i don't want latest version i am using 3.8 we can give any name guys so here name we can give any name and uh, so so install automatically i don't want to give manual path install automatically so here uh, select uh, which version you want for example i want 3.8.4 i am using 3.8.4 so some cases in real time multiple versions also we are configured so for one project we are using 3.6 other project we are using now see here uh, i am using here that's it now see 3.8.4 and i selected 3.8.4 apply save for example if you come to real time uh, some other projects we are using higher version or lower version so that case also we can add it click on add so in this case just assume this is the 3.6 i need 3.6 maven so like this we can add many versions also 3.6 so here i don't i am using a 3.6.2 okay 3.6.2 apply save now see here i configure to apply save now so see go to dashboard what is the project name this is your project right job <coughs> go to configuration go to sorry build i clicked build right still it is failing so go to configuration and go to build steps and uh, here 
if you see here maven versions earlier by default default is there right if you click on drop down now you can see which how many maven versions you configure for this for just assume for this project i want to work with this version for other job i am going to work with this version so that case we can select so like this also if you want to we can configure multiple maven versions also we can add it okay so this project so this is my devops hyphen java project so i want to trigger build so 3.8.4 that's it i hope clear guys anyone any doubt here clear sudhir what the yes sir okay so like this also in real time also we are maintaining multiple uh, maven versions and based on this uh, based on that particular uh, project particular version we are selecting here now this project i want to run 3.8 that's it apply save now click on the build now now check it whether build will success or it will fail now see here it is running if we click on console also we can check it now see here now see here now build was passed or success or fail see success with one success see now you can see compile this is a warning that is some uh, uh, it is a highly recommend because uh, there is some uh, older versions on 3.1.0 duplicate and see here compilation done compilation done i have one java classes and uh, so build was succeeded now real time in uh, real time also if somewhere if you see this error message sorry if we see this error message what is the problem maven, maven is not, not so maven is not configured properly now blindly we can remember maven is not configured properly i hope you got it right now so go to dashboard now this is the same in real time also same create one job and uh, go to configuration section and go to build source code management and uh, here we can select uh, suppose uh, this is a git right suppose if it is not available so how to install plugins now for example i want to work with uh, bitbucket uh, or svn how to install plugin now in this step anyone any doubt guys now i configure jenkins server already jenkins server available and uh, so i configure maven i configure maven and jenkins and i trigger the build so anyone any doubt here same steps sir no. now let me update the so goal also now i given uh, compile right so i am going to give a uh, package also if you want to we can give a uh, package compile and package also uh, directly we can give package also now check it now go to bill number 7 now see it is a package if i give package now see here so compilation also done and finally now got it clear guys artifact file generated or not generated sir generated now next step very very important so how to install plugins you know right so jenkins provide lot of plugins i hope everyone know so with the help of that plugins we can easily integrate other tools also <coughs> not only maven we can install we can configure salesforce we can configure .net we can configure ms build whatever you want we can configure now how to install plugin so steps is very simple guys so go to here dashboard so there is a one option right manage jenkins so how to install plugins interval so so many people uh, they ask for this question so how to install plugins in jenkins server so now if you go here see if you go dashboard if you go to manage jenkins 
So there is one option is there. Right now we know how to configure tools and all. Coming class also we'll see this one. Now there is one more option available here. See here plugins. Add, remove, disable, enable plugins that can extend that functionality of Jenkins. So I want to install plugins, any plugin, same process, same steps. Click on plugins. And uh, so if you see here, if you see here, so update and available plugins and installed plugins, advanced settings, left side, we can see. So there was error checking the update set. Okay, updation, there is waiting for one updation. I don't want to update, leave it. Now see here. So this is the what is this go to dashboard go to manage Jenkins click on the plugins Okay, now if you see here updates available install plugin advanced settings Now if you see here available plugin, so these are the already available plugins Available means uh, that is nothing but uh, which are plugins not at installed so for example, I want to install uh, SVN plugin. SVN also one repository, right? Or I want to install Bitbucket. So now if we see here. Now, if you go here, if you go to any job, and if you go to configuration, if you see here, right now I can see source code management only Git plugin. Same way, I want to install one more plugin, Bitbucket. Now how to install, check it here. So now if you see here, there is a available plugins, installed plugins, advanced settings. This is the update center. Now check available plugins. Now which plugin you want to install guys? For example, Bitbucket. Now see here, now we can see Bitbucket. Integrate with Bitbucket repository. This is also one repository. For example, if you want to install SVN repository. So SVN. See here subversion source code management or suppose if you want to install TFS team foundation server team TFS TFS visual C VS team services community deployment whatever you want we can select so now select whichever plugin this is available plugin so installed means already installed plugin if you click on installed now already git is installed right now we can check it here git 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 client git plugin already installed suppose i am checking a uh, bit bucket it is not installed right now check it bit bucket can you see here now understand right installed means already installed plugins only it will display here if it is not installed we can't see here suppose if i search uh, git now this is installed right now we can see that plugin, git plugin. Yes. Okay. This is installed. If already installed means we can click on here. If not at installed, if you want to search available plugins. Now I am going to install Bitbucket. Now see here, Bitbucket. Bitbucket, this is a plugin. Now see here, select this one. Select this one. Now, so select this one. So there is one option install if you click on drop down also we can see install after restart or directly I can install select the plugin just select the plugin earlier this option available bottom now they changed everything so selected plugin and click on the install that's it now see here guys download process these are the dependencies and all it is installing See here, so Bitbucket succeeded, success, success. Now how to check your real is installed or not this plugin. Now go to here, go to here and click on the job and go to configuration section. Now we can see one more option also. See here, earlier we can't see this option. Earlier we can't see this option. I hope you got it right. How to install plugin? Where is there? Yeah. Yeah. Now same way. For example, if you click on new item, 
here we can see maven pro only this is the ant project for example i want to install maven plugin so this, now we can see here maven related project i want to install maven plugin how to install plugin go to dashboard go to manage jenkins and go to plugin section and uh, first click on available tab available plugins search maven see here this is not yet installed how i know it is not yet installed it's green uh, and also it is available which uh, which under which uh, available plugins right available plugins suppose if i go here install plugin we can't see that one it is not yet installed right now got yes. it okay now go to available plugin select this plugin m maven now select the plugin and just click on the install that's it guys it is very simple but enter they are asking so what are the steps how to install so jenkins plugins so go to dashboard go to manage jenkins go to plugin sections go to available search the plugin select the plugin click on install that's it now see here so done now see succeeded now go to dashboard now how to check it click on the new item now you can see one more option maven project maven plugin install now you can see this option also i hope everyone know right how to install how to install plugins now some case how to install any third party plugins or how to install manually also they are asking one or two people if you go to manage jenkins if you go to plugins so there is a one more option is guys there advanced settings suppose already plugin is available in my local machine plugin is already downloaded in my local machine so now you know right available and install plugin i hope everyone know some cases sir suppose any third party plugin sir so that plugins already available in my local machine so how to install that plugins so there is one option advanced settings if you go here advanced settings if that plugin any server and all we need to configure this information or else there is one plugin there is one option available see here so deploy plugin manually if you want to deploy plugin manually so that case see you can select the plugin file from your local system suppose if that plugin already available in my local machine if you want to install that plugin that case this is the option what is the option guys one or two people ask an interview also so this and all okay so we can go and search here directly we can search available tab and search it here so some plugins for example my plugin is not available here my plugin is available in my local machine already downloaded i am getting somewhere now how to install that plugin what is the option advanced or now that case there is one option deploy plugin now see here you can select a plugin file system file from your local now see here choose the file just as a download now so already i have one plugin see here ant related these are the plugins guys so these are the jenkins plugins and all extensions should be hpa hpa suppose if you want to download manual also go to browser uh, type any plugin for example uh, jenkins ant plugin i want to install some ant plugin so this is the official website so this is the official website and uh, see here the configuration and all how to configure i don't want so jenkins and plugin download just if you type here and uh, so and plugin see here this is the now see here 
so this is the upsell web plugins dot jenkins dot io and uh, so if you want to download if you want to download manual also the extension should be hpi now see here here somewhere download option available see here direct link install installation options and uh, so using cli tool also we can download <laughs> install options this is cli anyway click on this download click on this uh, download link now now see here download started see here download started download started go to this path now see here my plugin is available here whatever you want both are same only now just assume uh, this is a plugin available in my local mission now how to install this plugin now this is the option so go to jenkins server go to jenkins server go to manage jenkins go to plugin section click on the advanced settings and there is one option deploy plugin what is the option guys deploy plugin in intro ask one or two people so if mostly we are using uh, this way this way only so available tab and installed suppose uh, if any third party plugin if uh, plugins are available in our local so how to install now see go to advanced settings and uh, so go to deploy to plugin and there is one option or we can use a uh, url also both are same only click on the choose file and go to download section and select your plugin and click on the open just uh, deploy see here this is my plugin name okay this is my plugin name choose plugin select plugin click on the open and deploy it that's it now see here ant is installing see ant plugin is installing ant already installed jenkins need to restart the effect so already installed already i selected it first time so like this uh, we can install any if any plugin available in our local or if any plugin available any other servers third party servers so that case go to advanced settings go to advanced settings and uh, see directly we can give url also directly we can give url also so this url that uh, server url that path and all if you pass it if you click on the deploy and automatically it will install that plugin i hope clear right so anyone any doubt guys how to install plugin how many ways we can install plugin and uh, so how to integrate so how to integrate uh, github how to integrate repositories how to integrate git how to integrate and all in our uh, jenkins server so this is very very important interval also most of the people are asking so how to install plugins and uh, so how to configure github repository in our jenkins server and uh, so and uh, these are the options they asked so we have to explain this so go to dashboard go to manage jenkins and go to plugin section and available plugins installed plugins advanced if any plugin available in our mission or any other servers so that case click on the advanced settings deploy to this option we need to remember deploy plugin which plugin deploy plugin deploy plugin we have to select our plugin name or directly we can give url also so already this is right now we can copy this url also right click and uh, so copy link and uh, directly we can pass here also both are same only see here both are same only so copy that link this is your plugin path where is your plugin path available this is the path okay just click on anyway it is installed right no problem I already installed it is showing like this error message see here uh, it is showing like one message see already installed that's it already installed so these are very very important i hope you got some idea right so how to install plugins and how to configure how to create job and how to configure how to configure repository and how to trigger the build and all clear guys anyone any doubt as of now no so, interval also they are asking so we need to pass repository url and credentials and also specific branch name and also specific branch name clear so these are very very important interval also real time also most of the case we are using these options
okay so that's it from my side today and